Happy. <laughs> Hi. Okay. Uh. Hey, Jeff Love here from Alternative Heating and Supplies. I know I've been not around and doing any videos recently, so I'm sorry about that to all my uh, listeners and people who are following. But today I want to talk about a question that comes up a lot is people will call me and say, hey, I got a furnace or I have a boiler. And a lot of people just don't understand what the differences are. So I'm going to go over that real quickly. Uh, in our case, we deal with mainly outdoor wood furnaces slash boilers and things like that. So a furnace, what it does is it heats with the air. So it has a heating element inside of it and it heats air, and then it distributes the, the heat through duct work. And I'll show some pictures up here to give you an idea what I'm talking about. And then it usually hooks up to an air handler, which I have here, a smaller version, which is my Dragon Breath air handler, which I'll go into more detail shortly. Um, now, compared to a boiler, a boiler heats with water. And that's most of the outdoor wood boilers. They are considered outdoor wood boilers. However, a lot of people call them outdoor wood furnaces. But they heat with water. They use uh, to distribute the heat, piping or pipe, um, copper, PEX, uh, CB, CPVC or PVC. Um, and the way it distributes the heat throughout the house is through usually baseboards, again, another air handler, and even radiant floor heating. So that's kind of gives you the basic idea of what the difference from a furnace and a boiler is. Now, what is an air handler? This is another question that I get is, what is it? Okay, basically it's a very simple thing. It's a, it's a small steel box and inside that box there is a, a blower or a fan that has the ability to build a pressure through the ductwork and send the air through the ducts to distribute it through the house or room or whatever you're trying to heat, the space that you're trying to heat. Usually has a heating element. Um, that is, in our case, a water-to-air heat exchanger. Um, they will also have elect electrical heating elements. They will also have um, LP elements, oil burners, and natural gas. Uh, they also use some heat pumps, use air handlers as well. Optional air handlers, the, uh, one of the options for the air handlers is an AC coil built into it. Our units do not, of course, because we're more interested in heating right now. And they will have drip pans and everything else. So now what I would like to do is kind of describe our air handler that we make. It's a Dragon Breath air handler and it's about 70,000 BTUs. And what I designed this to do is not to compete with the other larger air handlers that can go in traditional home heating systems. They're much larger. But what I found is that people are constantly asking me, hey, I want to heat my spot. It's a small house, mini house, tiny house. I got a bonus room above a garage. I want to heat, you know, a, a closed in uh, screened house, room that I closed in. A lot of that. So this is the air handler, and as you can see, it's only 18 by 16 by about 12 inches in depth. And what it was originally designed to do is this is a bird's eye view of a closet. Most closets that you look into, you open the door, and 18 inches on both sides is basically a, a dead spot in the closet. So the Dragon Breath was designed to be able to mount there, and as if you're looking at it from the outside of the closet, you're gonna simply be able to mount the return duct and a supply duct and a thermostat and everything's put away in the closet, hidden out of the way. Now you've got a conventional heating system inside a closet. But one of the things that I've noticed is a lot of people are saying, hey, I don't have a closet, or I have a, a, a screened room that I, I closed in and is now a, a sun den or whatever else they're doing. And I've seen people that came up with very creative ways of mounting these. I've seen them mount in small kitchens and they put them inside of a, um, a cabinet. And I've also seen them where they had built-in benches and they built the bench uh, seat in the kitchen and then obviously had a duct on one side and a duct on the other side and mounted this on the inside and had the thermostat on the wall and they had the heating system inside the, the built-in bench. So the creativity of these is, is going a long way and really quite impressed. I would love to see pictures of things and ideas that you have done to implement one of these units. If you don't want to hide it, there's also uh, an optional uh, fin system that you can add that will allow you to um, put it into a workshop, like a unit heater, or one of those things. Uh, these are known because of the ability to blow a lot of CFM and a lot of air throughout the system and build up pressure. Uh, I've also seen these used in greenhouses that use a, a flexible duct system to distribute heat throughout the greenhouses. Um, but keep in mind, it only dumps out about 70,000 BTUs. If you need something larger, like 100, 200,000, we do have unit heaters for them. I hope this was educational and helpful. I'll leave links in the description area below the video, and I'd love to see your comments. 
Thank you very much. And if you like the video, please subscribe. We have more coming. Have a great day. Happy heating. I'm going to stop there. And hopefully we'll see. <laughs> okay, again, simplify, simplify, simplify. I hope this was helpful. And please put... Uh, okay. I hope this was helpful. Please put your comments... Okay, now it's getting hard. All right.